All right, here we are at 20, the unit 204 in Villaggio. Um, the address, oh God, it's down there. It's 20281, I believe is the address. Anyway, these are the buildings. They're what we call coach homes, which means there's a unit downstairs and a unit upstairs. Villaggio has town homes, which are, you know, living room, half bath downstairs, bedrooms upstairs. These are not that. Okay, these are coach homes. Somebody lives downstairs, somebody lives upstairs. Um, got a decent amount of parking here. They got a bunch of guest spots across the street. They have a really neat um, town center here that's like a kind of strip with a little bit of everything. I don't remember off the top of my head everything that's there, but you know, fitness center, I think they have like a barber, or they have like a little restaurant, uh, stuff like that. So it's neat. It's a different, different type of concept. Um, tile floor entry they have your kind of laminate floor stairs which is nice they have your single car garage and he's got kind of the checkerboard material down here they're obviously outdoorsmen okay so that's your single car attached garage nice touch you go upstairs there is the open loft slash den next to us okay so that is the den area when you come up so your guest quarters your guest bedroom would be immediately to our left that way and we'll go see that in a second the open den is to our right it's pretty 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 big room you look at it we got space for the couch the peloton a big area plus and then two other tables plus they actually put some cabinetry up there which i imagine that's saying that's usually if it's a fixed like that usually that'll stay behind so you get an idea of the size of this okay we'll go through to the guest quarters linen closet here guest bath tile floors single vanity there's me how are you i'm dressed to exercise after this so i'm not my full realtor regalia dressed up today more casual because i am going to go hang out with my son who's here with me say hi thomas hi hi we're gonna go play some frisbee golf here's the guest bedroom they have a closet over there again it's a pretty decent size the carpets in both the bedrooms are pretty beat up okay so I mean, I'm always kind of a fan of getting rid of any carpet that's in a place anyway. I don't like living with other people's carpets, um, but these, this definitely needs to be replaced. There's an access point up there, which is kind of nice. I wonder if that's for AC or for that sprinkler system, but anyway, there's an access point there. A tile in this room, which is a laundry room, and they have extra cabinetry. There's your circuit breaker. Kitchen. We have the granite, they have kind of the cherry colored cabinets, stainless steel appliances that are Whirlpool. So I imagine those were replaced at some point. We'll display cabinets over here on this end. Your AC and your hot water heater here. The hot water heater is from 2019, which is good. This appears like it was installed in 2020, both newer, which is a big plus. Okay, um, so you do have a little pantry door there in your kitchen light they have a planter shelf up there again for decorative purposes vaulted ceilings eating kitchen table three bar stools that fit there comfortably and a nice big open layout for the main living area again this is the same floor that's up the stairs it is kind of your you know upgraded laminate you kind of see the seams in between let's see there we go let's see that's what the newer nicer laminate it might be luxury vinyl tile so i'd have to ask exactly what that's made out of tile floors out here whole sitting area really nice long lake view so you don't you don't feel like people are looking on to you you got nice privacy with the tree over here and then nobody to your left it's actually a really cool setup here with the fountain where that bridgeway is, and then to your left, that's where your town center is. I think that's the pool area, then on the other side of the bridge is where the town center is. So it's a, it's a cool spot to be in the complex. All right, let's go check out the master. You get the long view here. 
Again, carpets need to be taken out. The linen here, sorry, real quick. And then master bath, we've got dual sinks. This is going to replace the sinks and the hardware at some point. Tub. Again, all that looks newer. It's all shiny, and I, mean, I can't imagine that being the original. And then you got the shower. Tumble tiles. All that's probably original from when it was. I replaced the shower nozzle at some point. This is kind of like your faux glass, you know. It's pretty thin, pretty wobbly. Kind of like shakes when you do, you know. Never a huge fan of that, but it doesn't look like it has had any seepage. I mean, this is where you get your problems down in here. Uh, so it looks like all the corners, the caulking's been redone. So they, they've taken good care of it. The trouble spots, I don't see any trouble. And then, then your loo over there on that corner, okay? High countertops, which is nice. It's raised up to my hip level, so it's, it's up there pretty good. The master bedroom, you got his and her closets to each side. There's the walk inside, they put in custom closet shelving. So it's tight in there, but they maximize the storage as well as they can with the custom cabinets. And then this is just the wire rack straight across. Okay, so this is the smaller side. And then the bedroom. bad not bad this is the view out in the master window the tree is a little bit in the way obviously but brings in some light and nobody's really gonna be looking on you from there that's for sure i think that's it